how safe are your child's school supplies? Maybe your baby toys or your crayons? You want to know that what you are giving your children is free of toxins, but how can you actually tell? I talked to the author of Slightly Greener, Tanya Harris, for what materials are safe and how you can read those misguiding labels. Tanya, thank you for joining us today. I think parents have a lot of questions about what's safe for my children, especially these like products we don't even know could be causing harm. What, what are some of like the big things we don't even think about? Sure. When it comes to school supplies, there's a few things to be on the lookout for, especially when it comes to soft sided things like uh, three ring binders or backpacks or lunch boxes. And the reason is because those can contain PVC, which is a type of vinyl. And those can contain um, or, or chemicals that are linked to things like uh, lower IQ and can be toxic to the brain and nervous system. And then also they can contain phthalates, which is used to soften plastic. So those are also things that can lead to hormone disruption. And there was a study a while ago that made the news too about phthalates and how they can affect and lower a child, children's IQ. Wow. I would have never have, I, I, we probably all grew up using that stuff, didn't we? Like, was this out when our parents were raising us? Yeah, I don't know if as many of them were. I know there's been a lot more now, yeah. um, but now we've been able to do some studies and see, but the thing is we don't know what the long-term effects are. Right, right, so that's yet to be seen. What do you think, like buying non-toxic items and replacing those things that you were talking about, is this expensive? It, it can be a little bit more expensive. Some of these products are a little pricier, but what I recommend doing is a lot of places, if you go to their websites, you can go there and just um, sign up for their newsletter and they'll often send out a discount right away. You can also check online for discounts or the store coupons as well. And then some stores will allow coupon stacking so you even get a better discount. Okay. I've currently been working on a baby registry and trying to finish it up and everything it talks about like, this is safe for the babies. And like, they try to like put on certain labels. I feel like, can we trust those? Like what labels can I look for to say, okay, yes, this is a, a safe plastic baby bottle. Right. Well, that's a little trickier because mm -hmm. a lot of labels are not regulated. So you really just have to know what to look for. Okay. So, okay. What would be those things? Yeah. That I should be looking for. Right. Um, they can slap the word natural on a label and it doesn't really mean anything, but you can look for um, one great thing is USDA organic is a great label to look for. Um, okay. And then also you can look for things such as um, PVC free when it comes to school supplies. Mm -hmm. And then one thing I do want to mention is BPA free. When you see that on a baby bottle or any sort of reusable water bottle, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's safer because what they do is they take that, I know it's so disappointing, they take that BPA <laughs> and uh, oftentimes they'll replace it with a similar chemical such as BPS or BPF. And they've been shown to have the same hormone disrupting properties as BPA itself. So that's not always a better option. So I usually recommend glass for stainless steel as a replacement. Okay, the stainless steel is okay. Okay, so now I'm like starting to question everything. Is there, a, it sounds like most of the problems come from the plastic uh, toys or lunch boxes as you mentioned. Is there a good alternative for these? Sure, when it comes to toys, you can look for things that are wooden, but also check out, make sure there's no light in the paint. There's a lot of great websites out there that you can look for safer baby toys. And another thing is to look for vinyl free or PVC free when it comes to school supplies and lunches and backpacks and use cloth options are a great option for both for replacements for the both of those or again stainless steel for the lunch boxes. It's nice to know there are options to learn more from Tonya visit slightlygreener.com.